What's going on everybody? Today we are doing a straight pour, but I wanted to kind of get into some greens because greens make me just feel good. Okay, that's going away. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel in another video. Today we're gonna be doing a straight pour with these colors you see in front of you. We have phthalo green, light green permanent, fluorescent green, iridescent precious gold, and a pearl white from Amsterdam. If you haven't seen this pearl white before, it is really a beautiful color. And it actually has a lot of crazy effects in the painting, but we're gonna see that. So I've mixed all these up. There are two parts pouring medium, one part paint. The pouring medium I used was the Artist Loft pouring medium. There is no oils or silicone in any of these colors. And we're just gonna start layering. I do have two cups of this pearl white. One is gonna be the base coat and one is gonna be mixed within the cup itself. All right. So how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing amazing. I am doing well. Getting ready to fly back to Detroit for a short period of time, a couple days. Spend a little time with my wife. That's where she's at right now. Working on a movie. Still trying to make sure that I get this one video a day out to you guys, because to me that is very important. It's kind of a goal that I had set to, to go at least 30 days publishing a video each day. So for me, it's important. And I wanna, I wanna really try to make this work. So we're just layering the cup. We're being really gentle with these colors. I'm trying to not let them churn very much because I do want them to have some beautiful stark lines. And in order to do that, they, the colors can't really overmix too much. But yeah, going to Detroit, then I'll come back and then I'll be trying to go to, I'm going to that first Friday event on the 6th. Um, my buddy has another friend that does some model work and, and airbrush painting and all that stuff. He's going to have a little thing set up over there. So I'm going to go there to support that. Plus it's cool, you know, I'm really getting into the airbrush thing. So I am very excited to go in and see, you know, what are, what are the possibilities with this stuff? Since I have done searches on YouTube trying to see what, how have other people incorporated um, airbrushing into acrylic pouring, and I have come up empty. Can't really find much on that subject. So, I do think it would be really cool, have a nice blended feathery look of the airbrush to the stark contrast of the cells and all that. So that is something I'm, I am excited for. We are almost to the end of our cup here. And I must say, that cup looks beautiful right now. Absolutely beautiful. I don't think I need to go much higher than that at all, really. And we have some extra white, which is awesome. All right, so like I was telling you, this is just for a base coat. I'm trying to prevent it from rolling under for uh, as long as I can. So. I don't know if you can see, can you see the metallic shimmer in this pearl white? It is beautiful guys, seriously. And they just started selling, well, maybe not just started from for, for uh, Phoenix, but this is the first Michaels I've ever been to that actually had Amsterdam paints in stock, which is awesome for blooms because you you almost have to have 
Amsterdam opaque paints to do blooms. All right, here we go, you guys. First, let me pop the bubbles. Maybe I'll, you know what? I'm gonna spread this just a little. That is such a cool looking texture to it. Popping all the bubbles. There we go. And then we will start with our straight pour. And I think I'm gonna do the turn of the canvas because I really like the way that that looks. I'm just gotta, I might have overfilled the cup, which. Oh wow, look at that white with the greens and the golds. Maybe I won't turn the canvas. That is beautiful, guys. So beautiful. Dang. Yeah, I love the way this is coming out right now. The trick is trying to hold my hand steady. Which I do have my forearm propped on this water heater tray, but man these colors together you guys are so beautiful wow all these really light layers of gold and white and my goodness you guys slowly try to stop it there we go Ooh, that is pretty be really nice to it and slowly adjust it wow you guys all right so to stop it from rolling under this is already a metallic the pearlescent white right I'm not going to use the gold because the gold might actually give me pearls, which that's not what I want. But I do want to have a surface for this paint to continue to slide and not just immediately roll under. So I'm going to use the remainder of my paint and try to give it a little bit of assistance. I just don't want to disturb all those lines. Avoid disturbing them if I can. I'd rather have these colors just roll over the excess that I have over here. Which is what will happen. All right, got a little bit of this thalo green going on. And that corner I just dripped on will end up off the canvas. So we're not super concerned there. Yeah, that pearlescent white is a beautiful color, guys. I have a whole bunch of extra paint, so might as well use some of it, and then I'll have just enough to probably do a little, little eight by eight, or I'll make skins. Either way, it will be used. All right, we're almost ready, you guys. All right. Let me make sure that that is centered as good as I can get it. So that the centrifugal force can kind of pull it. I don't know why I didn't take this all the way to the corner. That was kind of odd. I should have. One thing I didn't think about was the gold that's in this. Hopefully that doesn't make pearls because that's really not the look I'm going for. Although I've been surprised by what happens before and I loved it, so well, let's see. All right, I think we're ready to spin it. It looks like it's just about centered, but yeah, the flow of this, it just looks like 
Some kind of plant life or feather? I don't know. Nice, easy spin. Nice and easy. Letting those colors stretch, reach out, flow to the corners. You guys, this is flipping beautiful. Because as it spins, I'm watching that gold just shimmer in the light, and it's really cool. Let me get a stick so I don't get my hands any more covered in paint than they already are. Wow. You guys. I should have let the paint set though. The only thing I don't like is these little pinpricks that are going throughout from the air bubbles that were in it. I want to stretch it out just a little bit more. Because we have a lot of paint on here. So maybe a little bit more vigorous and then I spun it in the opposite direction. It has a very like mother of pearl kind of look if that was a green. I don't know. Yeah, that white is, that pearl white is awesome. I love that white. All right, let's see. Ooh, yeah, and the white, the way it's just mixing and touching the gold and playing with it, that is gorgeous, you guys. So let me bring you guys down and check this thing out because I'm in love. This thing's beautiful. So look at all these tiny little lines and just very ethereal looking with the pearlescent white. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.